What's up guys? Welcome back to Test and Review. In our previous video, we tested six lights on Amazon that said they are over 100 watts. But unfortunately, none of them are actually over 100 watts. So in today's video, we try a different thing. We brought three market leader light and we're gonna compare them one by one. If you're interested in this topic, please keep watching. And remember to subscribe us and turn the bell on so you can always see our update. Let's jump right in. The three lights are from Dial Dynamics, Baja Design, and KC. If you are interested in port lights and did some research on them, those are the names that you definitely came across. Compared to the six Amazon lights that we tested last time, all of the three lights are much more expensive. But their price are still pretty different. The cheapest one is the KC, it's around $80 for one light. And the second one are from DD, it's $180 for a pair. They are a little less than $100 for one light, but with Baja Design, it's over $200 for one single light. That's twice the price than all the others. Well, because of our limited budget, we only got one single light from KC and Baja. So today, we're gonna take one single light from each brand, and that's our candidates. Okay, first, let's see the cheapest one from KC. That's 80 bucks. Actually, when I received this package, I already opened it, and I am a little bit surprised with 80 bucks, how simple this package is. You probably can't tell from the outside, but what actually shocked me is when I opened it. It came like this, with a simple paper wrapping. Even the really cheap lights that we got from Amazon has at least a bubble wrapping. But this one don't even have a bubble wrap. It came directly with the paper wrapping the light. Well, maybe that means their light are super strong so they don't need extra protection. So with $80, this light came with a single light, a bracket, and some screws and a husky. This light, compared to all the light that I tested before, feels much heavier. Just by holding it, you can feel it's a really, really strong light with really strong material and really well built. After the KC light, we have this Dial Dynamic, our candidate's number two. Really different from the other one, this light came with a fancy packaging. On one side, it has a graphic of the light and show you each side of the light and how it looks like. And on the other side, it has a photo of all the different beam patterns. Compared to the other one, this also feels like a really solid box. Let's open it up. So inside the big box, there are two small box that gives extra protection. So here in one box, we have two brackets, two pair of screws and also the cord of the light. We can use this to connect the light to your car. The other box feel much heavier. This has to be the light. So inside the box, there are some extra cardboard to fix the position of the light. You can't really move the light easily inside this box. Well, this is a pretty nice box. To be honest, if I pay like 80, 90 bucks for a single light, that would be the kind of packaging that I'm expecting. And this light is much smaller and a little bit lighter compared to the KC light. Okay, now let's invite our most expensive candidate today, Baja Design Light. This light is 269.95, so it's virtually 270 and that's for one single light. Remember the Amazon light that we tested last week with like $20 for a pair? So this one single light can buy 10 of them. Oh no, 20 of them. I have a really, really high expectation on it. I really hope it doesn't disappoint me. I know there must be something special with this light, but I have to say, after paying more than 200 for a single light, I'm expecting something more from the packaging. Look at the other one, they came with the big box. Maybe other people would say, well, the simple, the better. They don't waste their money on packaging. Yeah, 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 I understand that. And I agree with you. But that being said, if it came with a little nicer packaging, I will be a little happier. 
Well, inside, similar with the DD's light, it also have a form board to fix the position of the light. But since I only purchased one single light, it came with a hole on the other side, which looks a little bit sad. The first time I opened the box, I thought something is missing. And then I realized, oh, because I only purchased one light. Well, at least for KC, they have a box designed for one single light. Maybe I'm guessing you are encouraging me to quickly get the other light. Also pretty standard, it came with a bracket and came with some screws to fix the brackets and mount it to the car. Okay, now we put the three lights side by side. You could probably tell by the look which one is your favorite. The three lights are actually three pretty different design. The KC1 is the largest and the Baja one is the smallest. And look just how different they are in size. Also on the other side. Although these two have a pretty different size, I actually feel the actual lighting area on Baja design is a little bit bigger than the KC1. I guess it's because the KC1 have a much thicker frame and also it's a square shaped glass. While the one with Baja design only have a very thin frame and also they're using those wrong shape to really make use of the square shaped lights. Maybe you can take a look yourself and see if you agree with me. So the lighting area with Baja design and DD are similar. They're both using this round circular looking inside this square light and make use of the area. Also, these three lights have a very different coating with dial dynamic, it's a matte coating. You can feel some texture on it. And on the other side, Baja Design is using a gloss coating. It's almost reflecting. And if you touch it, it feels really smooth. And the KC is kind of in the middle. The coating is definitely not as gloss as Baja Design. It's not that reflecting, but it also doesn't have the texture as the dial dynamic. Also, the three lights have three different cooling fins design. For the KC light, it's pretty standard. It's really similar with all the other light that I saw. This cooling fins goes really deep. It's only like fourth of the lens are actually light and other are all cooling fins. And with Baja Design, the cooling system are also pretty standard, but it has some of those wrong shaped design. I guess with this design, the surface area to volume ratio increase. And talking about surface area to volume ratio, dial dynamic goes really extreme, and it's actually making all the cooling fins into cylinder. Compared to the other two, this cooling part didn't go that deep. If you look from the side, maybe half of it is the light and half of it is the cooling system. But I'm guessing with this shape, it should do a pretty good job. Oh, another difference within this three light is the lighting mechanism. This two light, you can see a ball shaped reflecting surface around the LED chips. So it's using the reflecting method. In this one, you actually cannot see the LED chips. There is a small refraction piece in front of the light chip. So the light got refracted first and then go out. Okay, now that's basically everything that we can tell just by looking the appearance of that. Well, personally speaking, my favorite is going to be the dial dynamic. One reason is I really like this matte looking with all the texture on it. I think it pairs well with my Jeep. Another reason is I personally prefer a refraction mechanism light a little bit more. But all those are really objective judgment. I'm sure all the three lights have its strength. Okay, now let's actually turn them on and see how they look. First, let's see how our KC light performs. This light is using 10.8 watts. Now I'm gonna put this light meter on the center of the light and read the number by lux. Okay, the number I'm reading is 299, around 300. Now let's try the dial dynamics. This light reads 14.6 watts. And I can tell the lighting area seems much smaller. As a spotlight, this light is more focused. The largest number I'm reading now is already 886. Okay, now let's try Baja Design. Wow, the power up 
marker for this one is 40.6 watts. The highest number of reading is a little over 550. I can tell the lighting area is much wider. Here is the comparison for the three light with the same camera setting and the ranking by Lux. Now we take our light outside. This is my Jeep with the front light open. And that's with the high beam on. First light is from KC. And the second one from Dial Dynamics. Lastly, we have the Baja Design one. Here is a comparison of the three light and my high beam with the same camera setting. That's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoy the comparison with the three lights. Again, I'm not in the position to say which light is the best or even my favorite. All I can provide is the real world footage and numbers. So you can make the decision for yourself. Well, if there are other brands you recommend and want me to test and review, please leave a comment. I'm looking forward to your recommendation. If you like this video, please give us a big thumb up. I'll see you in the next video.